Okay, now I'm going to take this last script that we've written and I'm going to modify it and we're going to teach you another different method or another different uh, JavaScript function that you can do that's lots of fun. It also can be very annoying. So I'm going to take this entire line of text, basically, and I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to leave the double quotes here, and I'm going to remove document.write, and I'm going to put in something called alert. So we're going to create an alert window, okay? otherwise known uh, in some circles as a message box. And I'm going to type in hi there. Welcome to my web page. Everything else basically stays the same, only I'm going to change the title up here. And the title is going to change to alert function. Okay? And basically everything else is going to stay the same. We're going to leave the comments here. Um, we're going to leave the script tags alone. Everything else is fine. Now I'm going to save this as js02 dot htm. And I'm going to save this also out to my desktop. Minimize the window. And I will uh, take that information and I will uh, place it onto the web page here. I'm going to minimize there. I'm going to reduce the size of this window here. I'm going to take the JSO2. And by the way, this is probably the fastest way and the most reliable way of doing this. And sure enough, we get Hi there, welcome to my web page. And that comes up in a little alert box. And one of the main things about an alert box that you will need to know is that it only has one button, and that's the OK button. You can't close it, you can't close the window, but instead you uh, can only click OK to get out of it. And until then, the web page will not uh, continue to load or function in any way. So it's waiting for user input at this time. So I'm going to click OK, and we end up with nothing, okay? which is fine, which is, uh, that's exactly what uh, I was expecting, because we didn't write out any HTML to the page after uh, we executed that particular uh, JavaScript function. Okay, so that's the alert function in JavaScript.